And this is our first ride since uh, Camp Razor, where our Razor was unfortunately tow-toweled. Put a link to that video below if you want to see it. I can't watch it anymore. So Something obviously happened regarding my helmet. I don't know. I'm not going to say. All I know is that typically we practice what we preach. We preach safety nonstop. If you guys have been viewers of our channel at all, then you know that we are constantly, really, always very conscious of our surroundings. We are very conscious of the people that we're riding with. If you've ridden with us, I hope you know that. We're, we're driving old. since? Yesterday. What time did we leave? Yesterday. Five forty. But like, just say yesterday. It sounds more dramatic. Yesterday. We've been driving since We've yesterday. Been driving since. Um, one hour and twelve more minutes until we reach our destination, which is in the middle of the desert. You see all that desert? Yeah. Mr. Hoover is outside urinating. All right, what's going on here? We're finally going to Glamis. I got. We got to get back on the horse. Is what we're doing. That's right. The sandy, sandy, wonderful little horse. Well, what she means by that is this. If you haven't seen it, I think everybody has, but this happened. I like, thank you. Um, I read a comment today where he was like, look, I've been watching your videos. I love your channel. And you guys are capable dooners. And when I saw the word totaled in the title, I was like, no way. Thought it was clickbait. We don't do that. Hardly ever. <laughs> no, Barely. Not at this level, no. Not All at right, this level. We gotta go. So pull this thing in. Our We're mirror's broken. We're taking this. Uh, oh yeah, let's do this. Put the exploder in the garage. Uh, uh, Boosty's hooked up. Boosty's hooked. You take that to the trailer or to the trailer and the truck. He gets in the back seat, and I'm gonna move this, and we're good. Let's do it. Okay. I gotta throw Superman in here. I guess that stuff goes in the truck. Oh, good shot. Brandy is the queen of packing way too much stuff, but I have to say. Sometimes that works out to our benefit because we have some stuff with us that turns out we might need. I wouldn't have thought of because I would have taken a third of the things that she might take. So anyway, let's do this. Okay, what's going on? What's going on is we are about turn to- Turn right at the stop sign. We're about to turn right Wait. up here. Thank you, Linda. We have got to get some uh, some diesels in yeah. Boosty, who by the way is running way better. Thank you, John. Um, so the last trip we were not putting down the power that we're used to. This trip we're just bah, bah, back at it. We're doing it. He has a little lead foot going on because you know we're excited to have the power back. So our fuel mileage is not the best. We're not pulling doubles and we're down to eight. <laughs> it's like that. Wow. Well, yeah, we rolled up to Hatchapi about 60 miles an hour. 55. So. Don't lie. The speed limit was 85. Got to turn right here. Truck. Anyways, we're going to go get. We passed the, um, the travel center because it's tired time. So we're going to get out into some brisk, cool air for a moment, put some, yep. put yes. some diesels in the truck, and then head on to Red Earth, the next stop and last stop before we get Glamis. I got my fun guy here. This is, he's just, I like holding it. Um, and we're going to get gas. Yep. Gas, what's up? Yep, we passed our station, so we may have to make a, a block or so. A wide U turn. <laughs> yeah, had to go back a block or so, and now we're coming up. What's going on over here? We are highly suspicious yeah. of everyone. Anyway, so just up here, another block or so should be our spot. One mile. Arrive at 16660 Sierra Highway on Let's the see. right. Well, we it was a big block. We Very thought high. there was another place up ahead, but it's a dead zone. Dead zone. So we are yeah. heading back to where we were originally going to go, get some diesel, and then we're going to hit the road. Jack. And uh, yeah. off we go to... Yeah, we haven't recorded much because there wasn't really much to record. We're just driving, headed to Glamis. I mean, just us, our normal being hilarious self, but you guys are used to that, so. Yeah. So, but we do have, when we stop at Red Earth, we need to, we'll record a little bit because we need to get some 110, a little bit. We'll we be there put, for a while is what you're saying. Yeah, we gotta, we're going to be there in a minute. We decided to not run. I oh, know we did. Okay, we don't have, um, yeah, we need the 110 from the pump. We yep. need some fuel in the uh, fuel station. Yep. And we'll need to fill in up the again. Mile. Arrive at 16660 Sierra Highway on the right. How do we go? Clear Half mile. mile. Whoa. We come, we this is ridiculous. A complete mile out of the way. But this trailer takes a lot to turn around. It 
takes a minute. A block, a mile. Um, so after this, yeah. And then we, we are running with full water, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Cause we missed the feel of extra weight. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, because we're lazy and we don't want to have to water filling up takes a while. Well, there's we need, when we get to Red Earth, we're gonna have to get a, a, a pass. We're gonna have to get fuel in the truck. We're gonna you know get what fuel he's saying. I'm gonna in tell the you. trailer. We're gonna have to get fuel in multiple cans. What happens is uh, I am in charge of the water, and if we wait till it's right here, don't pass it again. If we that wait, would suck. yeah. If we just keep going back and forth, if we wait, where is the entrance? I did. I went in backwards last time. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. So go around. It screwed us up. That's right. So we, um, arriving at 16660 Sierra Highway on the right. Thank you. So what we got to do, um, is that what would happen? I'm sorry. What would happen is if I was in charge of water and we got, the, I forget it. I'm just going to be honest. I would forget. It. I have to get the pass. <laughs> I can only do one thing. You know, you guys, if you've been with Please us long enough. drive to highlighted route. You know, uh, I've lost the pass before at Red Earth after I bought it. Yeah, um, that's true. So, I mean, I just really just. Let's just not do that. Let's just play it safe and get water before we leave. Um, I want to see if Kristen's working in here tonight. <laughs> we'll tell that story in a minute. Yeah. All right. Uh, you find out if Kristen's working. Okay. And if she is, then we'll come we'll back, come and, back. and talk about it. Right now, we're going to pull in here and get some diesel. We're going to grab diesel and go. We're going to make our next stop long. This one's super short, super quick. I didn't even get out last time. Ah, I'm growing up. Okay. Right, here we go. Here we go. Kristen is not working this evening, but we're gonna go get our card from CJ. There you go. He was nice, let's see how nice he really is. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna pause you guys in case he doesn't wanna be on camera, hang on. Okay, we told you we came here, Archer Travel Plaza, because we read an internet review that said Kristen on the night shift was super nice. She's not even working tonight, Kristen. So we got CJ though, who was also very, very nice. Super nice, he said I caught him on a good night. I think he really is just a nice guy. So I'm gonna pay for our diesel and get my beef sticks and hit the road. Thank you, CJ. No problem. One eternity later. Oh, then take the first left. Um, she says in one mile to do what? Where are we going first right now? We're at the casino, right? Yeah, we're going to Red Earth. We need some uh, race fuel. It's uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, 12.52. We need some race fuel. We need some 91 in the trailer. We need some uh, diesel. We need a pass. And we need a pass. Yeah. For the glamours. For the glamours. So we need to get... In half a mile, turn right onto Black Diamond Road, Nursery yeah. Road. And then we end up on Norm Niver. Right? Yeah. Norm Niver Road. So we're heading to Red Earth, which is our typical stop on the way out to Glamis. This is where we buy our pass. It's tradition. It's a really hard road to find when you're tired. We have 0.2 miles. Pay attention. Turn right onto the young right here. Oh, wait. Right. Man, the Black Diamond the road, road. Road. Nursery road. Then turn left onto North Niver Road. You can't listen to me. It's right here. Okay, I'm just making sure. But listen, you can't mm -hmm. listen to me on this part because I will always tell you to turn on the wrong one. Right? Yep. We just passed the one that we... That I always uh, do tell you. Is that why you have me the camera out so I'd be distracted? Turn left on Norm Niver Road. Let me Norm flip. Norm Niver Road. Norm Niver. And right here in this vicinity of like five years ago, we saw a road runner. Remember mm -hmm. that? Take the next left onto Norm Niver Road. Everybody calm down, Lindas. Okay, so we're on Norm Niver Road. We're heading to Red Earth. We got Glamis on the horizon. We're basically only like a, an hour and 15 minutes away or something. Yep. So one, finish up here after getting all the seven. In a quarter mile, turn left. Shut up. 17 things we need. In Fifth one half year. mile, head to Red Earth Casino on the run. Right. <laughs> we'll probably get there about 2.30 is what I was going to say, but these ladies won't stop talking. Yeah, if we hurry. Okay, well, let's hurry. We're going to come back to this. What's going on up there? I'm trying to find a mask for safety. I'm getting strangled like, oh, what if this? Does that count? Yeah, yeah, yeah that works. Sure. All right, so I'm getting diesel right now, but check this out. This is pretty cool. Hang on, let me put this up. Uh, 21 gallons. This is a truck stop, so it, this stuff cranks out rapidly. I mean, it's like no joke. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. Anyway, go check this out. 110. Somebody, somebody bought 50, 50 gallons of Dang, that's a lot. Okay, so here's what's going on right now. I'm getting some 
brace feel from the pump. Let's stop this thing at five. Close enough, right? Oop, no, don't put that up. We're gonna get more race fuel. Let's put this can. It's shorter just a little bit because it stopped at 75. Don't know why. I guess that's the, their card limit here or whatever. Anyway, um, so we got, I don't know, a little bit less than 10 gallons. That's all right because we got some left in that can over there. We got 10 more gallons here. It all gets mixed about 50 50, so we're good. We're going to throw these cans in. Let's pull around front. Pull around front and grab some 91. It is towards the back, right there. Like actually, all the way to the back, right? I'm gonna swung a little too wide. That's all right. I'm go. We gotta fill some cans too. Oh, come on. It's not. You know, it's one o'clock in the morning. We don't want this. Green card? Nothing. Green card? Nothing. Alright. Damn it. I guess let's see. Okay. So it works here. Let's hit cancel. Where's cancel? All right, but no work over here. Let's try it again. Put on card. Pull out card. Oh man, come on. All right, let's see. You know, if I back up a little bit, we can reach across, I guess. Let's do that. Hope the windows, maybe. Just so people don't reach in and steal all kinds of stuff. So we're grabbing the hose from the other side, making sure it reaches. So close. Making sure it reaches, and it does. And then we will uh, go over there and run the card on the other side, and fill up from the other side. What's going on? Aren't you lucky? Well, I got, God, I, I know I'm know. Just only supposed to get a pass, but. I just need one little taste. Oh, well, good thing I got two. Gas more. station. Mmm. So good. And this Chiquito. is Powerade. Mm. To power through the night. I like it. And with some Sprite in it for the juice. 91. Doesn't work. Didn't, pump didn't work on that side, so I'm pumping from this side. Yep. So let's check on the car. The car likes to come loose. It's in there, in the door. Jello? Hi. Where you being? Oh, yeah. Oh. You, says, you can put the tailgate down. I'm not doing that. That's too easy. This one says 110 tape on it, so you might want to take it off. No, just leave the tape on. We'll ride over it. Okay. There's that. You need two? Well, I'm checking the trailer. Just throw oh, it over okay. there. Okay. All right. Let's, uh... Check the car. Let's see it's how let's see how that's holding up here. Let's dock in here. Okay, right. There we go. Oh wow. I have the car plugged in 
for when it was when the trailer was plugged into shore power and when we run the generator the way the battery's not dead um that one worked a little bit loose but these with this new double ratchet system not loose at all that might be the trick car has not moved and we definitely hit some bumps so yeah i'm liking it i'm liking it liking it look at that ratchet on either side all right okay so why do we put oh, that's in not those... full that's not full babe it was pouring out of it it is yeah it actually was pouring out it clicked off Try, try it again real quick. There's only 13 gallons. 16.4 gallons. On, you're on this side, right? Idiot. Right. But still, did we have that much fuel left? I didn't even check before. Let's look at the gauge, but it either. was pouring out. It shut off. All right. Anyway, I don't want to try it again. Oh, you're right. Anyways. It dripped it. It dripped it. Oh, yeah. So it's full. It's full. Okay. Um. Now, what are we putting these? 91. Why did I put that back in? Well, I don't know. I was trying to stop you. Oh, God. You gotta yell, stop! Like that. Here's the card. Okay. Okay. Don't put it back on the thing and stop like I no, almost no. did again. No, no, you I'm saw me, it. right? I did. About to do it? Yeah. I'm tired, though. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. You're tired. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Just because you've, been, do, been, you've been doing all the paying attention? I've been side seat driving for yeah. hours. Yeah, you know you're tired. I've been is? riding in the passenger seat for hours. Listen, I kept it. I can't unbend Napping. my legs. I can't put them on the dash because Josh told us that story about my knees going through my jaw. Yeah, good point. This freaking nose ring that I replaced my other one with it makes me feel like I have a booger. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm stopping at 10. And I'm trying to keep you awake. That's stressful. Yeah. I'm watching. I'm putting videos on. I'm learning a lot about people I didn't know. It's this really kind of disappointing. Yeah. Go so checking. Yeah. What happened? I'm not gonna say it. Don't. I'll kill you. That's true. All right. Well, I'm, I'm gonna stop recording right here because basically Delirium. we're getting feel. This person's smoking over here. So By that's the good. Pump. If someone we used to know were with us right now, she would have flipped her leg. Oh, she's not using her cell phone. We're good. <laughs> All right, let's just... I'm gonna like rub the seat and then touch this. Don't do that. That could actually cause a problem with damage, so don't. We'll be back. Mr. Hoover is outside urinating. Not outside, outside, but out of the truck. Right? Anyways, um, so Dundee Off Road, Brandy from Dundee Off Road, reporting live from the scene of Red Earth Casino. Oh, hi. Here we go. All right. Uh, Mr. Hoover, mm -hmm. how do you feel? Good. It's uh, what, Listen, 131? Answer me. Right. How do you feel? How do I feel? I don't know. <laughs> I feel pretty tired, but good. Um, it's what time is what time, and what are we doing? It's 131. And we have this much. Let's look at my maps. It says, um, one hour and 12 more minutes until we reach our destination, which is in the middle of the desert. You see all that desert? Yeah. Um, and we're going to go meet up with Dean Dean, the 49er machine and Miss Donna, and then tomorrow Rob heads over. You might know him as uh, Robert Mello. They call him Robert Mello. Mm -hmm. He's heading over tomorrow. And I'm delirious, so I'm gonna go. I might have just started this to be like ramble on about nothing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's how it's it goes. It's 1.31 in the morning. We've been We're driving old. since. Yesterday. What time did we leave? Yesterday, that's true. But like, just say yesterday, it sounds more dramatic. Yesterday. We've been driving since yesterday. We've been driving since yesterday. It's true. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Next time you see us, it'll be morning, and we'll be like, good morning. Yeah, all right. I'll go like. Where are we? We are in Glamis, like I said. Yeah. We made it um, that quickly. Um, now <laughs> we were getting ready to do um, it was easy peasy. It was easy peasy. Yeah, I mean, except that we woke up, the heater it was freezing, the heater wouldn't work, uh, generator uh, we, wouldn't work. Because of gas line. Yeah, was, gas line, flat tire got ripped. That all, But it's all working now. Well, look at because, I mean, we could have fixed it. We would have had to fix that at home, but instead we got to fix it in Glamis. That's right. Anyway, now I think we're ready for a ride. I'm ready. I've been ready waiting for you, bro. So we're down to one car because of the obvious. Uh, go check that video out. We had a crash. We'll put a link, maybe. There's a link below if you want to see why we don't have the pro with us. Yeah. Um, and this is, it was total. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. It could have been worse. I mean, this is my yeah, badge of honor. This is what, a month later? Yeah. 
Yeah. Almost. That's my badge of honor. Yeah. I mean, at least this time I have a scar for a good reason. Yeah. Not a, like was doing laundry and. Um. Now we're gonna go ride. Let's do it. I'm gonna go show everybody what what, what it looks like out here. Okay. So Good. here's trailer. Garage is empty this time. So as the couch is out. Anyway, Dean and Don are out here. What's going on? Are we in Glamis? I'm ready to ride. Hey. You ready to ride? Glamis time. Alright, let's do this. Oh, look, and look at the car. Look how good the car looks. I shined it. Like crazy. I ain't really. I just sprayed a bunch of stuff on it and walked away. But... It's the miracle spray. Anyway, we're gonna go ride right now. Let's go do this. Thanksgiving weekend. We are on our first ride out here in the sand. First ride of the trip. First ride since the, we'll put a link below when the razor got totaled a couple, like a month ago or something, whatever, Halloween. Um, but feeling great here in the Can-Am. We're down to one vehicle. First world problem.
got Dean up there in his mean, mean 49 machine. Right. What was that? Perfect right. Thank you, got it. And we're a little bit, uh, we're a little bit, uh, not gun shy, but, um, this is our first trip out. We're being extra, extra cautious on, uh, watching for traffic because, uh, even though that wasn't our fault, um, you got to always watch out for the other guy. The, there are a lot of inexperienced riders out here, and even experienced riders. We're all human. So, you know, here we are, Osborne Lookout. Traffic up there. Copy. somebody said let's do a safety video and I agree I look at something obviously happened regarding my helmet I don't know I'm not gonna say all I know is that typically we practice what we preach we preach safety nonstop if you guys have been viewers of our channel at all then you know that we are constantly really always very conscious of our surroundings we are very conscious of the people that we're riding with if you've ridden with us I hope you know that um, and we always always 
usually always, I guess now I'll say, are checking helmet straps, checking them twice, verifying that the belts and everything are, you know, strapped, everything's good. Very, very concerned. So this opportunity right now, safety, yes. Check your helmet straps, check it twice. Yeah. I'm lucky. I'm really lucky. Um, but check your straps, check your, check, do buddy check. Check your driver, driver check passenger. You want everybody coming back to camp in one piece. Um, these things are here for a reason. The belts, the harnesses, make sure that you guys have the right harnesses, the right size helmet, that they're strapped up. I am going to say this again. Communication is key. Have a radio. Um, uh, there's, you know, rugged radios is what we're running in this car. Have something. There's a solution out there that will fit your budget. Don't use that as an excuse. It is one of the single most important um, uh, yeah, modifications that you can make to your side-by-side, -side, not just for you, but for everybody else, calling out traffic and making sure that nobody's hurt. So safety, safety, safety. Have a spotter if you're going to jump. Make sure that you're riding with people that you trust and don't drive outside of your comfort zone or outside of your skill level. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit... Oh, me too. Oh, we're both like ultra, you know. This guy I trust more than anybody else in the world with my life, with everything, um, with driving me, driving the kids, just all of it. So, and any of you that have ridden with him, you know, you know, you know, not to say it. I'm not going to try to talk anybody into believing it. It just is what it is. And there's Dean up there, another just the, one of the most capable drivers, safe. Um, so if you want to ride with a good group of people, find people like this. Find us. Come ride with us. We'd love to have you. I'm not saying we're the best, but we definitely, definitely love to have a good time, and uh, we will definitely uh, make sure that no one gets left behind. Fact. Look at this, and the weather today. What is it? 70 and friggin' perfect? It's amazing right now. I mean, nice and cool. Yeah, I got shorts on Thanksgiving week. Last year we were in Dumont and it freaking poured rain. Had a great time with great people, but you know, kind of a different deal this year. Have I'll do glamis anytime I can get it. That is just the way it's always gonna be. All right, people. So that was a. Uh, this is like we just concluded our first ride out here in Glamis during um, Turkey Day 2020. Tomorrow is actually Turkey Day. Today's uh, Turkey Day Eve. I don't know. So we are out here riding. Uh, we got Dean and Donna out there, right there. Ready. Ready. Yep, good to go. And this is our first ride since uh, Camp Razor, where our Razor was unfortunately totaled. Put a link to that video below if you want to see it. I can't watch it anymore. So we're a little gun shy, a little trigger shy, but the sand feels good. It's doing us right. Um, car feels awesome and dialed. We're running on an Evo uh, Stage 4 X RWI, 100 octane. Um, Dean's running 100 octane too in his uh, big turbo car, and we are both just loving it right now, yeah? Oh, yeah. Watch this. Brawley, Look at how you do. Brawley slide. Oh, yeah, Brawley slide. Easy I mean, just do running, it. You're using one toe, right? <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's pretty steep if you've been out here. So My overboost again, dang it. The, we'll take a look at what's going on around us. Again, this was the end of our first ride out here in Glamis. We're going to head back to camp, um, take a little breather. We got Rob Mello. They show, come. show him this real quick while you're Look gone. at that, guys. Look at all those rails. It's hard to see in that camera, but you should be able to see it. Oh, my Hopefully. God. It's a beautiful Hopefully sight. It's like rails of all colors joined together in a long formation. I don't know. But that's just freaking badass is what it is. Look at that, guys. Pretty awesome. Freaking rad. We came from a sand rail, and now we're in a UTV. That's what I keep thinking. God. So, anyways, we're heading back to camp. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching us get here. You know? So it's a hike. And uh, our first ride, and there's going to be plenty more video to come. We got a lot more riding to do, a lot more testing to do. We got some cool stuff coming up tomorrow with our homies at MTS. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, thanks, guys. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Peace.